All right, so here I have a new meter that actually works. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually do this with just one hand, but I'll try. Let's see, turn this thing on. It's already set to the 20 volt thing. All right, set that there. Let's see. Just this one. All right, so I can't hold it and do it at the same time, but I was registering 12.9 volts. Basically, according to the charts I was looking at, if it's at about 50% it will register about 12.2 and if it's at a 70% charge it will be registering about 12.4 if it's at 100% it will be registering anywhere from 12.8 to 13.2 or something it just depends on what it's like if it's like flooding or whatever but basically 12.9 means my batteries are fully charged so it's nice having a meter that actually works <laughs> that last one just was stupid it didn't register anything so um i haven't been using my solar to charge the car yet because i have that little tiny 30 no 300 watt power inverter and everybody in the comments said that's too small and I said I was gonna try it anyway and see what happened, but I really didn't. Instead, I looked up things and just based off how much range I've been adding to my car, it's pretty safe to estimate that um, my car's drawn about a kilowatt every hour, which means I would need something that could handle bare minimum 1,000 watts as opposed to 300 watts. So I ordered uh, um, another power inverter online that's rated at 2,000 watts per hour. So that's two kilowatts, so that should be more than enough to handle the load of charging my leaf. It was a lot more expensive than the little 300 watt one. So since all I have right now is a little 300 watt power thingy, I've basically just been charging my phone, <laughs> which is kind of, I I'm, I'm, haven't been tapping into my free power very much. It's been generating a lot more than it takes to charge my little phone I don't use my phone all that much basically I just make videos and then when I work at the school I watch YouTube videos and stuff but I don't do that much with my phone really. so I'm I'm more excited about when I get the bigger power inverter because then I can start throwing about a kilowatt or so into my car every night which my car has been getting incredibly good range I've been getting about 5.4 5.5 miles for every kilowatt of energy I put into it so basically I should be throwing about five miles of range on my car every day with my solar system which that's not much but you know seven times five is 35 I I normally only drive 20 to 30 miles a day so my, my typical most frequent thing is just to go to the school and back which is only about 20 miles and then I have a couple days where I go to the little gym that's like a 10 mile round trip and then I do the thing to the school so it's 30 miles on those two days and then of course Tuesday's my big day but four of my seven days I only go 20 miles so 35 miles that's almost two days of driving on my my shorter days my more typical days so I'm I'm pretty happy about that so I can't wait to get that bigger power inverter and start taking advantage of all this energy I'm getting from the Sun <laughs>